Have you ever wondered how a single store can influence a nation's retail industry? It all started with a spark, a vision, and one man, Roland Hussey Macy. In the year of 1858, Macy opened the doors to what would become a retail powerhouse, a beacon of American consumerism, and an iconic symbol of New York City. Roland Hussey Macy was not just a shopkeeper, he was an innovator, a pioneer, and a savvy businessman. He had a particular knack for understanding the needs and wants of the American shopper. And he used this insight to create a shopping experience that was truly unique. One of the key strategies that Macy employed was the introduction of in-store marketing gimmicks that were both novel and appealing to customers. Who could forget the joy of seeing Santa Claus in the store during the Christmas season? It was Macy's that first introduced this concept, turning a simple shopping trip into a magical holiday experience. This clever marketing strategy not only attracted customers to the store but also created a sense of community and festivity that was infectious. But perhaps the most notable innovation was the creation of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This grand spectacle which started in 1924 was a brilliant move that served multiple purposes. It was a way to celebrate the holiday season, to give thanks, and to kick off the Christmas shopping season. The parade attracted millions of spectators and viewers, further bolstering Macy's reputation and reach. These innovations, along with many others, propelled Macy's to the forefront of the retail industry. The store was not just a place to buy products, it was a place to experience the joy of shopping, to feel a part of a community, and to create cherished memories. Macy's rise to prominence wasn't just about selling products, it was about creating an experience, a feeling, a sense of belonging. It was about understanding the American consumer and delivering more than just goods. It was about delivering joy, excitement, and a touch of magic. The innovative spirit of Macy's set a new standard for retail stores nationwide. So, how did Macy's become the retail giant we all know? Well, let's journey back to the 20th century, a time when Macy's was on a meteoric rise. It all began with strategic acquisitions and a keen eye for growth opportunities. Macy's, initially just a small dry goods store in New York, began to expand its horizons and ventured into the uncharted territories of retail. In the early 1900s, Macy's started acquiring other stores, a move that broadened their reach and customer base. This was a turning point in Macy's history, a crucial moment that propelled the brand into the retail limelight. With each acquisition, Macy's not only grew in size but also in reputation. The mid-20th century saw Macy's become a household name across the United States. With its unique blend of quality products, customer service, and a shopping experience second to none, Macy's was a juggernaut on a relentless march. One of the key milestones during this period was the expansion across the United States. Macy's moved from being a regional brand to a national icon, with its stores dotting the American landscape from the bustling cities to the serene suburbs. They were not just stores, they were symbols of America's burgeoning consumer culture. And let's not forget the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, an annual spectacle that started in the 1920s. This grand event with its giant balloons and festive spirit became a part of American tradition, further cementing Macy's place in the hearts of the American people. As the century drew to a close, Macy's was not just a store. It had become a part of the American fabric, a symbol of the nation's love for shopping, and a testament to its retail prowess. Every acquisition, every new store, every happy customer was a golden thread woven into the rich tapestry of Macy's history. It was a time of growth, a time of prosperity, a time of glory. By the end of the 20th century, Macy's was more than just a store, it was an American icon. But what goes up must come down, right? A rule of gravity that seems to apply to the business world as well. It's time to delve into the downfall of Macy's, an iconic retail giant. In the late 20th century, Macy's began to face a unique set of challenges that shook its once stable foundation. One of the biggest disruptors was the rise of e-commerce. As the internet became more accessible, online shopping platforms like Amazon became the new norm. Consumers reveled in the convenience of shopping from the comfort of their homes, and traditional brick-and-mortar stores like Macy's began to feel the pressure. Then came the year 2008, a year that will forever be etched in the annals of financial history. The global financial crisis dealt a significant blow to many industries, and retail was no exception. As the economy crumbled, consumer spending decreased drastically. Macy's, 
with its focus on mid to high-end products was hit hard. But the challenges didn't stop there. Changes in consumer behavior added another layer of complexity to Macy's struggle. The new generation of shoppers showed a preference for experiences over possessions, and they valued sustainability and ethical production. These were areas where Macy's, with its traditional business model, struggled to compete. Moreover, fast fashion retailers like H&M and Zara offered trendy clothes at a fraction of the price, luring away the younger demographic. On the other end of the spectrum, luxury brands provided the quality and exclusivity that Macy's couldn't match. Trapped in the middle, Macy's found itself in a difficult position. In addition, the company's heavy reliance on holiday sales and promotions proved to be a double-edged sword. While it attracted customers during the festive season, it also conditioned them to wait for discounts, thereby eroding the brand's value. Despite its past success, Macy's was unable to adapt to a changing retail landscape. Like a ship caught in a storm, it was tossed and turned by the waves of change, struggling to find its way back to the shore of prosperity. So, where does Macy's stand now and what does the future hold for this retail giant? Macy's, once the pinnacle of American retail, finds itself in a challenging situation. Over the past few years, it has faced a steady decline in sales, largely due to a shift in consumer behavior and the rise of e-commerce. However, the company hasn't been sitting idle. It's been taking steps to adapt and revive its brand. One of Macy's primary strategies to regain its footing has been its push into the digital realm. The company has invested heavily in its online presence, revamping its website and enhancing its mobile app. The aim is to provide a seamless shopping experience whether customers are browsing online or in-store. Macy's is also leveraging technology to improve its supply chain and create personalized shopping experiences, harnessing the power of data analytics and artificial intelligence. In addition to its digital transformation, the company is also making efforts to attract younger consumers. Macy's recognizes that Millennials and Generation Z consumers are the future. Therefore, it's been introducing new product lines, hosting events, and partnering with influencers to make its brand more appealing to this demographic. The company is also exploring sustainable and ethical fashion, recognizing the growing demand for such products among younger consumers. Despite these efforts, the road to recovery is steep. Macy's is not only competing with other brick-and-mortar retailers but also with online giants like Amazon and fast fashion brands. The company's future will depend on its ability to adapt to changing consumer preferences, leverage technology effectively, and differentiate itself in a saturated market. The future of Macy's is uncertain. The company's attempts to revive its brand and adapt to the new retail landscape show promise. But it's a challenging journey. The retail giant has weathered many storms in its long history and it's clear that it's not going down without a fight. Only time will tell if Macy's will regain its former glory or continue its decline. So, what can we learn from the rise and fall of Macy's? It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? From its humble beginnings to its golden age, and then its slow descent into uncertainty, Macy's has been a fascinating case study. Let's take a moment to summarize the key points we've discussed. Macy's rise to prominence was no accident. It was an outcome of innovative strategies and a relentless pursuit of customer satisfaction. They introduced the concept of a one-stop shop, a place where customers could find everything they needed under one roof. This was a game-changer that transformed not just Macy's, but the entire retail industry. The company also pioneered the practice of holiday window displays, a tradition that continues to this day, further cementing its place in the annals of retail history. But as we've seen, this success story also had its share of challenges. The downfall of Macy's was not a sudden event, but rather a gradual process. It was a combination of changing consumer habits, the rise of e-commerce, and a failure to adapt to these changes that led to the store's decline. Macy's was slow to embrace the digital revolution, and this delay cost them dearly. Now, the future of Macy's hangs in the balance. In the face of increasing competition and a shifting retail landscape, the brand must find a way to reinvent itself once again. Will it succeed? Only time will tell. The story of Macy's is not just about a single company. It's a story about the retail industry as a whole and the challenges it faces in a digital age. It's a reminder that success is not permanent and that businesses must continually adapt to survive and thrive. In the end, the story of Macy's serves as a reminder for all businesses that success is not permanent 
and that adaptation is key to survival in a constantly changing market.